AITA, for causing my family to miss my brother's wedding. My wife and I just lost our second baby. Our first was a stillbirth. Our daughter lived for only a month due to a medical condition. We didn't get to take her home. But we have a few pictures of her before she passed away three weeks ago. It's difficult trying to get used to living like that but we have no choice. My wife and I missed out on some family events. Including my brother's wedding. Everyone was being considerate and gave us enough space to regain strength. I work long hours and night shifts while my wife stays at home. I was on shift the day of my brother's wedding. A few days ago, my mom and my sister were complaining about my brother's fiancé, no child, rule and they wanted someone to watch the kids for a few hours. My sister suggested that we do that but I told her I had work and my wife wasn't up to it. And I really thought that was the end of discussion. On the day of the wedding I left home for work at 3. I got a call from my wife at 5. Telling me my cousin just came and dropped six kids from my family at our house and told her that he'd come back to pick them up later. I was FC King Livered. I went home and I started calling my sister, cousin, and Syl to come pick their kids right then. They kept stalling but I demanded they tell my cousin to turn around and come pick the kids up. Instead they started showing up one by one. Taking their kids. Cussing me out claiming I was overreacting since my wife didn't say anything, my wife doesn't know how to say no so it's on me to set boundaries although it's hard with them calling me the problem. My parents said I caused the family to miss most of my brother's wedding by looking for someone else to watch the kids and basically blamed me for refusing to take the kids for just a few hours. Saying I don't understand because I don't have kids I don't know how hard it is. That line cut too deep. I've already had two kids that I lost. Everyone's arguing with me for causing him this issue on the wedding and said I reunioned it instead of doing this one little favor. I sent a mass text telling him they can start blaming each other instead of us. After I told them we couldn't watch the kids. Now they won't even want to see me. Was I the asshole for I did? Holy shit, not the asshole. I don't understand how you would possibly think you are. You clearly told them no. They smashed your boundaries, refused to listen, and dumped their kids. When you rightfully insisted they to come get them, they started doubling down and throwing barbed statements. Your family is undoubtedly selfish, petty and terrible. Don't feel bad for what you did. Just because their blood doesn't mean they aren't capable of being awful. Not the asshole. You are still a father, your children just aren't here with you on this plane of existence. Your family shouldn't rely on you to take their kids when you've said your wife isn't up to it, which is totally understandable all things considered, and you had been working. It was absolutely inappropriate of them to think you would even want to take their kids. As for your family, you are not a babysitting service. You are grieving the loss of a child, a hurt that will never truly go away. It is a pain they won't feel unless it happens to them, and a pin I know you wouldn't wish on them. They do not understand that things like this can be harmful to you and your very obviously grieving wife. They are the asshole, not you or your wife. Not the asshole but your family is fucking full of them. My God. Sending my deepest condolences to you and your wife. Wow massive not the asshole. If I read that correctly, you only lost your baby three weeks ago and these people have the nerve to expect your wife to be up to watching six kids. That's a lot even for someone who didn't just go through a traumatic experience. You did absolutely nothing wrong, and good on you for standing up for your wife. Not the asshole they didn't have babysitters lined up for a day they knew they needed one, and then chose to dump their kids on someone who wasn't expecting to babysit. That's irresponsible as parents on him and disrespectful as family members to you and your recent situation. I am so sorry for your loss and hope that they realize how horrible they were to you and your wife. Not the asshole. I am so sorry for your losses. Your family is unconsiderate. Your wife needs to stay at home and take some rest, not watching six kids alone. And your family doesn't even ask her before the wedding. Wow 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 not the asshole. Next time why not call CPS to tell him to pick the kids up since it's so difficult for them to take care of their own kids. These are the types of people I would cut contact with as they felt they were entitled to you and your wife's time during a time that is very difficult for both of you. Fuck your family. You did right by your wife after they purposely tried to use her as a free babysitting service after you said no, potentially causing you and your wife additional trauma. My heart goes out to both you and your wife heart. Not the asshole. Not in a hundred million years would you be tar. Poor planning plus a complete lack of humanity on their part led to this shit show and you're right in that they have only themselves to blame. Also sorry for your loss.
Biggest not the asshole I've found thus far. You had no obligation to watch the kids regardless of what you were personally going through. To compound the problem, they did not ask if you and your wife were emotionally ready to watch children after losing your child. Then, they just dropped off the kids after you said no. Now they think the problem is that you don't understand how hard it is. This is 100% on them. Not the asshole. Next time call CPS. Not the asshole. First off, I'm incredibly sorry for your losses nobody should ever have to do through that. The fact that they decided to dump all their kids on you after that is outrageous. They could have gotten a babysitter long before the wedding and would have made it to the wedding, but they waited last minute just to put it all on you. That's fucked up. And the fact that they knew you lost your children and said, you don't know what it's like because you never had any, is so fucked up. They sound like a bunch of nuts. Not the asshole. Their poor planning caused piss poor results. You had already told them, no. Your cousin tried to do an end run around you and just drop the kids off. What if your wife hadn't been home? This wasn't a favor, this was a massive insensitive boundary stomp. That dig about you not having kids makes it even worse. Let the trash take itself out and cut them out of your life. I'm very sorry for your loss. Not the asshole. They had plenty of time to make proper arrangements for their kids. Dumping them on you wife was wrong on every level. Not the asshole. They were incredibly inconsiderate and entitled to drop the kids off like that. Especially since your wife just lost her second child. Not the asshole at all. Why are people angry at people for having a child-free wedding? There is nothing wrong with that. Not the asshole. I am livid for you. I don't even have the words. I am so sorry for your losses. I have been there. Take the time you need to heal and you are amazing for protecting your wife during all this. This is a no contact worthy event in my mind. Not the asshole. Your brother said the kids couldn't be at his wedding because he didn't want them there. You said they couldn't be at your house because your wife is recovering from her baby dying. The amount of mental gymnastics it takes to look at these two people, neither of whom are actually at fault, and decide that you're the bad one is horrific. And I am so deeply sorry for your loss. I'm so incredibly sorry for what you've been through. Who does that who drops off kids without prior permission for any reason, at any time but to a woman mourning the death of her child? Of her second child. Their behavior is so inexcusable. It's wonderful how you are protecting and caring for her. They caused themselves to miss the wedding by not having made any plans whatsoever for childcare. I'm so angry on your behalf. They are so in the wrong. Not the asshole. Just, not the asshole at all. I'm so sorry for the loss of your babies. I just don't know what to say. Obviously, you're not the asshole. But your family sounds full of them. I cannot believe they had the utter gall to do that. Have they always been this self-centered and insensitive? I would seriously consider going no contact. They behave absolutely disgusting towards you and your wife, and the two of you do not deserve that. I'm so sorry you're having to deal with this so soon after your loss. Not the asshole. Even if your reason for not wanting to watch their kids was wanting to watch a movie in your underwear, you would still not be the R. I'm so sorry for your loss and I'm so sorry that your shitty family doesn't understand that no means no. Not the asshole. It hasn't even been eight weeks since she gave birth. She's still recovering physically and grieving and they expect her to watch six children. I would absolutely go NC, especially after the you're not a parent comment. Not the asshole I've never had a loss but if someone dropped off six children on my doorstep for a random amount of time I'd go nuclear. Besides if your wife had said no they would have ignored her. What in the actual? I'm sure they were aware of the no child policy for a while. They would have had ample to arrange sitting without having the disgusting audacity to dump their children on someone grieving. Definitely not the asshole. My deepest condolences on your losses. Not the asshole. The audacity of your family to just steamroll your wife into watching their kids. You said no. No is a complete sentence. End of discussion. Poor planning on their part doesn't not require an immediate reaction on your part. You and your poor wife, ug your family members are supremer holes. Your parents disgust me, how dare they say that shit to you and your wife when you two literally lost your kid. It's been three weeks and they can't even do that for you, if I was you I would go no contact with all of them because they basically showed that they don't care about you. Not enough to cause a rift over a bunch of lazy good-for-nothing cheap donkeys who couldn't afford a babysitter but could afford to dismiss the fact of you and your wife having a stillbirth. Not the asshole, and I offer both you and your wife my condolences.
you should have packed those kids up taken him to the wedding and dropped him off. Entire my guy. Not the asshole. I'm sorry for your lose. There are very few things I can think of seeing on here that are more horrifying than what you've been through. Losing an infant after going through a stillbirth. Either one of those would shatter most people both sequentially and it's a miracle that either one of you can function. Putting any general sort of unnecessary burden on either of you would be an asshole move right now. Overriding your objections to leave your wife with children is so unimaginably cruel that it's almost breathtaking. You are not the asshole here. Tell those people to go pound sand, and I personally would think long and hard about whether those are people I want in my life. Not the asshole you aren't a drop in service and they had no right to treat you as one. The the asshole here, you did absolutely nothing wrong. Their comments about, you don't have kids, would pretty much get them all cut off forever. That's utterly horrid. I'm so very sorry for your loss. Saying I don't understand because I don't have kids I don't know how hard it is. Holy hell not the asshole and cut these awful people out of your lives. Now they won't even want to see me. That would be perfectly fine with me. Not the asshole. Not the asshole but holy hell Batman your family is full of them. I am so sorry for your losses and then your treatment by your family. You are a rock star husband for standing up for your wife to your family. I can't believe they were selfish enough to think being around children would be fine. Dot in the whole wait until you have children line is petty. What kind of parents don't line up their own childcare and then blame others for their selfishness? Not the asshole. Once they all knew you weren't attending, partly due to work, but naturally due to the loss, the last thing anybody should have been thinking about was expecting your wife to babysit, and at the last minute no less. Everyone should have prearranged childcare. Not your fault they can neither plan appropriately, as parents as they pointed out they are, nor that they are inconsiderate of your wife's feelings. JFC, what is wrong with your family? It's their fault for not taking no as a complete answer and trying to foist their kids onto you and your wife. It's not one little favor, it's a massive imposition, and exponentially more so given your recent loss. I'm so sorry about your children, and that your family is full of ours. Big hugs if you want them from this internet stranger. Not the asshole. Not the asshole what kind of ours don't make childcare arrangements ahead of time. It's not like they found out about the wedding the day before. Also they are very tone deaf for thinking your wife would want to be surrounded by children while she's grieving. Not the asshole I am furious for you. They escalated a situation from R to major asshole to colossal R. If they don't ever speak to you again consider that a favor because holy shit does your family ever suck. Op, you absolutely rock for standing up for you wife like that. They clearly didn't ask her and tried to bully her into by just showing up. They absolutely know what they did was wrong by how they chose to do it. Edit. Words are hard. Not the asshole why do so many people, even, especially parents, seem to think that everyone should snap their fingers and be over losing a child. This sub has been full of that particular type of asshole lately. Not the asshole. Saying I don't understand because I don't have kids of my own, I'm so fucking livid. Op, you're not the asshole, your family is a bunch of heartless people who don't deserve your time. If it was me, I would go absolutely no contact with them. Also, you're still a dad. Your children will live forever in your heart and memories. I send you both you and your wife a hug. I'm so sorry for your loss. I'm so sorry also your relatives are some of the most terrible people in the world. Not the asshole. And your mom is going to need to grovel if she ever wants to see any future kids you have. Not the asshole, not the asshole, not the asshole asking a woman who recently suffered the loss of her second newborn to suck it up and watch six kids is beyond cruel. Your family is terrible for even thinking that would be okay let alone disrespecting your boundaries and trying to force the kids on your wife. Putting ops trauma aside, who waits till the day of a wedding to organize childcare? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You don't need a reason to refuse to do anything. No is a complete sentence. Those were not your kids and not your problem. Did the bride make the rule about no kids at the wedding the day before? No, she didn't. They had plenty of time to make arrangements. They chose to not do so. That is entirely on them. Your parents blamed you, so the grandparents of the two children you have lost said that to you. They actually said to you that you, don't understand because I don't have kids I don't know how hard it is. What? The. Actual. Fuck. You have two children that you lost. The grandchildren. They do not understand how hard that is. My response to them at that point would be, fuck you. 
Then hell would freeze over before I spoke to any of them again. Not the asshole, and it's really alarming to me how many posts I've seen here lately with family members just dumping their kids unannounced on other family. Why the fuck do people think this kind of thing is okay? I'm so sorry your family is being so insensitive too. Is your brother upset? Did they not know about this wedding well in advance? Could they not have arranged for, I don't know, a babysitter? Not the asshole. Not the asshole your family was informed this was to be a child-free wedding. It's not your responsibility to provide childcare because you missed the wedding for reasons out of your control. Wife and you just went through a devastating experience. Your family is some boundary-stomping selfish inconsiderate people but you know that. I want to say it takes a strong person to stand up to their family while protecting your significant other. You did the right thing. OMG what a bunch of C. I'm sorry for your losses xxx purple heart.